All right, guys, so we got to talk about college professors who apparently are still making students wear masks. And there's one story here that I find to be absolutely fascinating about an Illinois professor saying that going maskless indoors is a manifestation of racism and will kick out non-compliant students from class. So basically, this professor is saying that if you don't wear a mask, not only are you racist, but you're going to get kicked out, okay? Because um, apparently, according to him, masks are for uh, safety and health, right? And you don't have an option as to whether or not you can wear the mask. And if you don't wear the mask, again, you are a racist, okay? You're ableist as well, too. Let's throw that in there because he says that as well, <laughs> And I'm just like, bruh, Wow. <laughs> I wonder, is it racist if a so-called student of color refuses to wear the mask, or is it only racist when a white student <laughs> refuses to wear the mask? Again, I wonder how that works. Will this professor accuse a so-called student of color of racism for not wearing the mask, <laughs> right? Or is he throwing ableism and racism in there as a way to say, hey, you know what? If a so-called student of color refuses to wear a mask, then they're ableist, okay? If a white student refuses to wear a mask, then they are racist, right? Again, I wonder how this works. I wonder how this works. Some of these people, man, they really kill me with this stuff. A professor at Northern Illinois University outlined to students that they all must wear masks while in his class, arguing that not wearing face masks indoors, quote, is a manifestation of ableism and racism. Refusing to mask indoors is a manifestation of ableism and racism, an exercise of individual privilege that tells the most vulnerable that their health and their, the health of their loved ones does not matter. Thus, masks are required here. They are not optional. A message from Northern Illinois University physics professor Dred Abelman said, according to a photo of a projector screen from the class. So, you know, here's the thing, man. Guys like this, <laughs> they're on a power trip. Okay, that's what this is all about. It's like, no, no, no. I'm going to require you to wear this because I'm all powerful. Uh, I have an ego problem. And it's not because I actually feel like it's going to make me safer. Okay? Or anything like that. Um, I actually just want you to do it because I want you to do it. And that's it. Right? And if you don't do it, then, hey, you're a racist. Okay? You're an ableist. Right? That, that's basically what this comes down to. Because when we were wearing masks and when we didn't have uh, the vaccine... Uh, the virus was spreading when we had the vaccine and when we were wearing masks while still having the vaccine the virus was spreading <laughs> right uh when we had the vaccine and now we're not wearing masks today uh the virus is spreading <laughs> right so i'm just saying like to me to me it, it just seems like regardless of what we do the virus is going to do what it does and it right now the numbers look similar to how the numbers look during this time of the year in august so my guess is that's what's going to happen is that these numbers are going to spike once again in december and in the winter because it seems like this virus may be more seasonal in terms of how it spreads or the amount of spreading and then what's going to happen is that we're going to have the same fear mongering right uh during the winter time about how oh you need to wear masks again blah 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 because the virus is spreading but yet when you look at the numbers all the numbers are going to be similar to the covid numbers <laughs> during the last two winters okay and i and i think it's going to be like that <laughs> regardless of whether or not we wear a mask okay but hey don't let the science don't let the data get in the way of the authoritarianism right don't let it get away of authoritarianism because that's what a lot of these liberal professors are about that try to implement this type of stuff. Because if this guy is really concerned about stopping the spread in his classroom, uh, then he should be requiring all surgical masks, right? The N95 mask, okay? He should be requiring that, okay? Because those appear to be the ones that are most uh, effective, right? Those would be the ones that be most effective. But I really don't think that this is about stopping the spread as much as it's about power and control and authoritarianism. That's what I think this is really about. The professor's instruction on masks was made public after a student reported the matter through the Young Americans Foundation campus bias tip line. Uh, YAF obtained a copy of Adam and Syllabus, which outlines that masks are required at all times in Physio 253 
if students do not comply, they will be booted from class according to the syllabus and call racist <laughs> and smeared as racist as well, too. Masks are required at all times in Physio 253 here in, and in your labs. It is not pleasant, but it is for your health and safety, my safety, my health and safety and the safety and health of your friends and colleagues. If you do not follow this requirement, you will be asked to leave out of wrote in the course syllabus according to YAF. No, it's about your ego, right? It's about your ego. That's what it's about. So uh, this is proof of this guy's policy here in the syllabus. Northern Illinois University, a public university in DeKalb County, Illinois, eased its mask requirements in February, but states on its website that, quote, faculty members can require masks to be worn in their teaching spaces. Adamant has been working at the college since 2014 and currently serves as director of graduate studies for the physics department. Adamant told Fox News Digital on Thursday in email correspondence that his rules on masks comply with school guidance and that he's working to keep everyone a little safer while we <laughs> learn physics. Well, I hope they're offering an alternative course here for students who don't want to do this, okay? Because if he's the only guy that is, you know, teaching this course here, uh, I think that's an issue. The university allows professors to set mask policy in their classrooms and laboratories. I cannot and would not tell students what to do outside of my class, but if I can do my part to keep everyone a little safer while we learn physics, I will do so. Of particular concern to me is protecting those students of color and those with special health demands and needs whose studies have shown are disproportionately impacted by the virus, Adam has said. So again, this guy is woke. This guy's super woke. Oh my God, I'm doing this to protect students of color. Again, they're always using black folks to stroke their own egos, right? To walk virtue signal for their own benefit. They don't actually really care about so-called students of color. They're just using you to push what they agree with, their policies. Again, this is classic woke liberalism here. Classic woke liberalism. Again, use black folks to push your own policies that really, in my opinion, have nothing to do with black people, right? Ain't got nothing to do with black people. This ain't got nothing to do with that. This just has everything to do with your ego and what you want. Northern Illinois University press team did not immediately respond to Fox News Digital's request for comment on the matter. A representative for the school did tell YAF that Edelman's views on masks as individuals reflects his personal opinion. Yeah, because that's what it is. It's a personal opinion at this point. The uh, syllabus provided to YAF also shows historical scientists Photoshop with face coverings or seeing maskless with captions such as, quote, I don't want to see your nose this semester unless you're outdoors and net gators are not acceptable. A student at the school told YAF that Adamant is the only professor who teaches the required Physio 253 in IU course. So they're saying going masked is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. These are not acceptable. These are not acceptable. <laughs> Again, so you got to wear your mask over your nose, all this other stuff. Again, this guy is on the power trip, bro. YF spokesperson Kara Zupkus touted the youth conservative organization's tip line in comments to Fox News Digital on Thursday as a source for, quote, students facing intimidation and bullying tactics from professors like this one. As our nation's campuses become more polarized with left-wing activists parading as educators, it's up to us to hold these leaders accountable for their viewpoint discrimination and ensure that conservative students are able to speak freely in the classroom, Zupkis said. Gore masks while indoor public settings have been labeled racist and ableist by other professors in recent days, including in New York by a SUNY New Paltz professor, quote, refusing to mask indoors is a manifestation of ableism and racism, an exercise of individual privilege that tells the most vulnerable that their health does not matter. Women's gender and sexuality studies professor Jessica, Jessica Nidia Pabon Cologne said in a draft of her syllabus, which was posted on Twitter last month. Yeah, so again, this is not about health and safety as much as it's about these woke professors wanting to exercise power and control over their students. And the reason why you know is because if it's truly about health and safety, they would just say, hey, this is about health and safety. Stop. That's it. Nothing more. However, when they start to say, well, it's about health and safety. And if you don't do what I tell you to do, then you're a racist. <laughs> you're an ableist. OK, you don't care about students of color. That's how you know there's an agenda here. That's how you know it's all about power. OK, it's all about control. It's not really about health and safety anymore. It's about their woke egos getting stroked. Right. That's what it's about here. Anytime they try to throw the race card in there, they try to use race and, you know, all this other stuff. You know exactly what it's about at that point. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.